And now it's time for our regular arts and culture segment with our Lee Tae Ho. And today he comes bearing some great ideas for the weekend. Good afternoon, Tae Ho. Good afternoon, Yeonji. All right, so the weekend is coming up, and I'm sure many people are wondering what to do this That's weekend. Right. Well, the, hopefully the wonderful spring-like weather that we've been having continues on towards the weekend. But regardless, I have a great exhibition to tell you about that is separate yet still together. Let me show you what I mean. Six different galleries, six different exhibitions. They may be in separate locations, yet they are all tied under the theme and title of the exhibition, Land, Sea, Sky. One exhibition is of a ping pong ball that is shot out of a machine and swatted with a shovel, not knowing which way the ball will go or where it will land. This is Chinese artist Wang Gongjin's interpretation of randomness. Artist Paul Bai depicts his view of time and space with two red planks that spiral endlessly. And in a nearby gallery, the works of Australian photographer Craig Walsh are displayed. And the way I've done that is I've juxtaposed the sunrise on the sky with the sunset on the rocks. So it's a time shift which is in opposition to the way we view it, but it enhances its significance. Derek Kreckler, another Australian artist, has prepared a black and white piece of media art depicting the sea. And for the artist, the space between the shore and the sea represents change. It always changes, always moves. So in a sense, it's kind of literally as if it were that, it's a sort of poetic literal of that part of the ocean. And in yet another nearby gallery is the media art of Lauren Brinkat, which features herself in a lonely airport runway. It's quite melancholic, but I like to think of it as a, um, a positive kind of energy with a very loaded history that this airport has. These are just a few artists among the 15 that are working in collaboration with each other. All six galleries that are participating in this exhibition are within close proximity to one another, making it convenient for visitors to experience numerous different exhibitions all in one localized area. The Land, Sea, Sky exhibition will be open until March 23rd, with the main exhibition stemming from the Art Sonja Center in Chongnugu, Seoul. Upon its conclusion, the exhibition will travel to both China and Australia.